Hello friends, welcome to the video series on interview questions for SQL PL SQL developers. So in this video, we are going to talk about the interview questions related to set operators. So sometimes the question might be a, a direct question like what is a set operator or sometimes it will be uh, something like a difference between a union, union all or uh, intersect minus or sometimes it may be a, a scenario based questions uh, where you need to write a query uh, by using any one of the set operator. Okay. And uh, uh, sometimes for uh, typically this question is being asked for a, a fresher or a beginner level. But sometimes for a, a bit expert level, this question is being asked mainly from the performance angle, like uh, uh, which one will behave better in terms of union and union node and why it behaves uh, better, mainly from a performance aspect. OK, uh, before uh, understanding all these uh, set operators, uh, let us understand why we need to use the set operator first. Let me just take you through one scenario based question so that we'll understand why we need to use a set operator. Then we'll see what are all the set operator for each and every set operator. We'll see with few example so that by end of this video, you yourself will be able to answer the difference between each set operator and you will be able to answer for what scenario you need to use which set operator. First, we'll start with one scenario based question. So here is the employee table. The question here is you need to write a query which displays the uh, name of the employee who is getting the maximum salary and the name of the employee who is getting the minimum salary. So basically the output expected output should contain two record. One record says that this person is getting maximum salary and uh, maybe you can display the salary also. And the second row should display the a name and salary of the person who is getting the minimum salary. See uh, here, uh, this particular question has two aspect or two parts. One is like calculating the maximum salary, then getting the name of the person who is getting the maximum salary. Same way for minimum salary also. First, you need to compute the what is the minimum salary. Then you need to uh, find out who is getting the minimum salary. So if you need to write two different query, you'll be easily able to write so here is the query to get the name of the person who is getting the maximum salary. So here a uh, king is the person who is getting a maximum salary of 5,100. So here is the same query. I have used the uh, min group function. So here Smith is the person who is getting the minimum salary. So here I have written actually as a two different query, but this is not the expected output. The expected result set should be a single result set, which should contain two record. One says the maximum salary information, another says the minimum salary information. In these kind of scenarios only, we'll be using the set operators. So basically these set operators help us to combine in such a way the result set of two or more different queries. So in this case, I have two different queries. One gives the maximum salary information, another gives me the minimum salary and his employee information. So the result of these two queries can be combined using either union set operator or union all. Probably we'll see the difference between these two a bit later. But first let us try to use the union here. When you use the union, it just combines the result set of the first query and the result set of the second query. And it just gives us a single result set. In earlier case, we have two individual queries and each query gives us a result set. Whereas now we just combined the information of two results and we just produced one single result set as the output. Okay. For all these set operators, you just need to keep two rules in the mind. Like the first rule is the number of when, whenever you are using the set operator to combine more than one result set, the number of columns in the first result set should match the number of columns in the second. So what I mean here is in this first query, there is three columns. The first column is simple uh, string column. The second column is a name and third is a salary. So if I execute the first query, we'll be getting like three column, right? Same way if we execute the second query also we will be getting three column. So first the number of columns should match. Second rule, the data type should match. Okay. Uh, let me just again reiterate the first um, rule, the number of columns should match. 
since the uh, first query and the second query has exactly three column the result set are exactly combined and uh, given as the exact result set suppose let me remove this salary from the second query so let me execute the second query now now if you see the second query is just giving two column whereas the first query is giving three column now when you try to use the union keyword here you will be getting an error saying that query block has incorrect number of result column this is because this uh, set operators expect the same number of columns in, uh, across the uh, individual result set okay second rule i said told the data type should match okay so in this case the first is a um, character or a string data type same way the first column of second query is also character so the next is also e name is also a character the salary is a number suppose if i make the salary as a character then it will not match because in the first query the salary is a number whereas in the second result set the salary we have just converted into a character let me just try to execute this now you will be getting an error saying that expression must have the same data type so the data type should exactly match so these are the only two rule and this is common for all the set operators okay so now uh, i i hope you you have you'd have got a, a bit idea like why we need to use a set operator first of all because typically when someone asks a question on a set operators you should be able to answer what is the need to go for a set operator sometimes you will be able to get this information without even using a set operator but for some scenarios you have to use a set operator okay so uh, this is very basic information now we'll we'll start understanding what are all the set operators available and what is the difference between all this So here are the four set operators provided by Oracle. One is like union, union or intersect minus. All these things are very simple and very easy to understand. Uh, see, when you use the set operators, the one, as I mentioned already, you just need to follow only two rule. Uh, the number of columns should match across the query, and the number of uh, and uh, sorry, the data type should match exactly. For a better understanding. in the example what i'm going to show i've just taken only one column but keep it in mind you can have any number of column but for simplicity and easier understanding i just kept one column okay first we'll start with union keyword okay to to understand better i i'm just going to create two table the first table is called tab 1 that is table 1 in this table i have populated four rows called a b c and d when you select the information from the table 1 you will be able to see four records a b c and d the second table is table 2 in this table i am going to populate a b e and f four rows i have populated so when you select the information from table 2 you should be having a b e and f now that we have two queries one is called select star from table 1 another is select star from table 2 now we can use this union keyword to understand what this union keyword will do okay so typically union and union all will combine the result of both the queries okay that means it will take the uh, result set of the first query it will combine with the result set of the second query and it just gives us the one single consolidate result set but one key point in union is union will remove all the duplicates for example in this case you will be able to see a and b rows in table 1 as well as a and b in the table 2 but when you try to combine using union keyword you will be having only one set of a and b okay so this is the first learning union will remove all the duplicate information and it just gives only the distinct information the second learning in union is union will sort the result set okay union will sort so this additionally perform two operation one is like sorting and the second is duplicate removal so here are the key learning with respect to union union will join the result of two queries and the output will be sorted by default and it removes all the duplicate record okay i hope now union would be uh, quite clear now we'll start with union all 
See, union all is very similar to union. And I'm just going to take the same data set where the first table have four rows like A, B, C, and D. And the second table, table two, have A, B, E, and F. Okay. Now that if you start using union all, union all also will combine the result of the first query with the second query. But the only one difference is union all will not remove the duplicate and it will not sort the data. As you can see here, all these four informations will be available in the first set a b c and d and the informations from the second table table 2 you will be able to see in the next set a b e and f so union all will just take the result of the first query just append the result of the second query it will not remove the duplicate and it will not sort the data by default unless otherwise you have a order by class at the end of this so the key learning here is that union all returns the results from both the queries the output will not be sorted by default it won't remove the duplicate records the main uh, point with respect to performance is union all performs much better compared to union the reason is two additional operations are eliminated in union all one is like sorting another is like duplicate removal so these two operations will not happen in union all that's why union all is preferred in cases wherever there is a huge performance overhead and if you are not bothered about the duplicate records but if you are if you are very much concerned about the duplicate then you need to use a union only but uh, the trade off here is the uh, performance degradation between the union all and union okay now we will move to the third set operator called intersect I'm going to take the same data set where the table one having A, B, C, and D and table two having A, B, E, and D, F. See, intersect as the keyword says, it is nothing but the common record or the common information between the two result sets. So whatever is common here will be given as the output. So in this case, as we know that A and B from the first is common with A and B of the second table. So in this case, only A and B is the common. So when you say select star from table one, intersect select star from table two, you will be getting A and B only because C and D exist only in table one and E and F exist only in table two. Okay, so these are the key learnings with respect to intersect. Intersect returns all the common rows from both the queries. So it doesn't matter whether you are writing select star from table one union, sorry, select star from table one intersect, select star from table two, or whether you are writing like select star from table two intersect, select star from table one. It doesn't matter. It always gives the common record between both the results set. So here also the output is sorted by default and the uh, duplicate records if any will be removed. Now we will start looking into the minus uh, set operator. Okay, So I am just taking the same uh, data set where the table 1 have A, B, C and D and the table 2 has A, B, E and D, F. Okay, So the minus will give uh, the result of the first query excluding the result of the second query suppose if i say select star from table one minus select star from table two in this case it returns the information from table one but excluding table two so here a b c and d are in table one whereas a and b are present in both that is why it just returns only c and d you can see here so this is the portion only this portion will be given as the output so when you say select star from table 1 minus select star from table 2 you will be getting c and d suppose if you write a query something like this select star from table 2 minus select star from table 1 in that case it just gives the table 2 information excluding the table 1 information okay so as you can see here when you say select star from table 2 minus select star from table 1 will be getting this portion of the data as the output as e and f okay so minus basically returns the information from the first query excluding the result set of the second query so here also output will be sorted by default and duplicate records if any will be removed so just to summarize our learning here union union and union all both consolidates the result and gives us a single result set Whereas union will uh, remove the duplicate and it sorts the uh, record by default. Whereas union all will not remove and the informations will not be sorted by default. 
Intersect basically gives us the common record or common information between both the queries and the output is sorted by default and it removes the duplicates. Same way minus will give the result set of the first query excluding the result set of the second query and here also output is sorted by default and uh, it will also remove the duplicates if any. If you have any questions to be answered you can just uh, share it in the comments or you can drop to this mail id. If you would have learned something new please like this video. Subscribe and stay tuned for new feature videos, interview questions, concept videos, tips and tricks. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Please share your comments.